Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about test-driven development. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what do you think is faster on average? Test-driven development or writing code and then the tests after? I think that this is highly individual. I think it's something that is going to be different for every person, but I also think that it's going to vary, vary a little bit based on the problem that you are solving. So since I believe that this is going to be personal, I'm going to just go with my own way of looking at this and the way that I try to think about test driven development versus writing tests afterwards and so forth. So when I work, I found that I usually face three types of problems. I'm going to face trivial problems. I'm going to face uh, error prone problems and I'm going to face very error prone problems or very complex problems. Now the way that I go about it, so let's take a trivial problem. Let's say that you create a function and let's say for the sake of the argument that you have a type a, a type signature or something like that. Let's say that you're working in TypeScript and it's going to add two numbers together. Well, adding two numbers together is such a trivial problem, from, a tri trivial problem that I don't even in many cases bother writing a test for it because it's a trivial problem and although I can absolutely follow test and development practices here uh, I usually don't because the, the, the I know f I know based on experience and that's not always true but it's you know that's what happens when you get old and lazy you know, quote unquote, that this is not going to cause a problem, and the odds of you getting this wrong is so small that it's practically neg neg negligible. Like it's not worth the time. So I get lazy, and I don't write any tests even afterwards. I just here it is. There's this very trivial little thing that does this thing, and in many cases it works forever and ever and ever because it really was a trivial thing. In some cases it does break and then you slap yourself on the wrist and you say that you should have done better and then you fix it and you write the test at that point. The other types of type of problem was, would be error prone problems where I know that okay I know how to solve this and it's fairly straightforward for me to solve it and um, then usually I don't write in a test driven fashion I just kind of solve the problem but I also know that I've made this implementation and it kind of works the way I want it to but I also know that it's hooked into other features and I know that those other features depend on how this thing works so now I need to document this in some way I need to some way make sure that if someone is moving things over here well then it's not going to cascade down to this feature here and break those features over there because that's a really weird that's a, the worst problems because everything is a part it's like a node it's like a node. Uh, it's like a node tree, basically, where I'm working on one node and I have a parent node and two children nodes. And if that parent node changes or my my node changes, it cascades downwards to other features. And so I write a test to make sure that people understand that uh, if you change something over here, I have a feature over here that is, well, it's going to break or it breaks if you if you do this thing, and. In that scenario, I usually find that it's, as I said, it's not a very complicated problem. It's just error prone. I know that it can go wrong, so I write the test afterwards, and that this, that's the way that it works fastest for me. And then, lastly, I will say complicated problems, and this is where I say I really do believe that they, that this is where the value, of, at least from my experience, this is where the big difference between test driven development and just writing tests really shows itself, because the thing is there's a lot of people who have a problem thinking about the all the things that can go wrong like thinking from the perspective of test driven development i would say that the most common criticism TDD is getting is that it feels unnatural to people to think that way and i think that although there's no discussion that writing a test a test first and like asserting every piece of logic along the way is going to be a more like a more quality type of development experience i think that that's fairly straightforward like that's a fair assumption it doesn't really help if you can't do it effectively if it's if you if you if you can't really if the work tool doesn't work for you it doesn't matter how amazing it is because at the end of the day it, you're a human and you're flawed and the problem is that we can create perfect tools but if we can't pr produce perfect humans to use those tools we have a different sort of problem i'm not saying that you shouldn't do test driven development i'm saying that it, 
in some cases it's actually as long as you can guarantee that this code works you have got gotten uh, you you reached most of what you're trying to reach and even if you could reach it even further by adopting a completely new way of working you might come get a completely different so that's a problem so for me when I use test driven development is in that last case when I have really error really complicated logic and for me as an example that would be something like say I will I'm gonna create a very complicated reg regex or a search algorithm, an AST parser, a classifier, if we're trying to classify data types or something like that. Something where, let's take the regex as the simple example. Like if, let's say I'm going to create a regex that's going to break out different types of phone numbers or addresses or something like that in an international product into logical segments, something like that. Now, that is a big problem because there's so many variations to to say an address or a phone number like there's so many combinations or an email address or something like that that it's really likely that if I create an implementation for one case then I'm gonna have to try to figure out an implementation for the next case and then the next one and then the next one but the problem is that whenever I change the regex even the slightest mistake on my part might actually undo the matching that worked for the other cases that I already covered and this is where TDD is the gold standard of work for me because now I'm dealing with a problem where I know that any tweak I make to this could break my already existing logic like I can myself right now completely fuck up this implementation because I'm a human I'm an, I, and regex regex are usually complicated so in the previous example I knew that I could not alone like fuck it up because I knew that the implementation was fairly straightforward but someone who doesn't have my current understanding of the code could have done it so I write a test for them just as much as for the rest of the system but here I'm actually writing the test for myself because I won't be able to deliver this logic if I don't test it every step of the way because it's so likely that I write one implementation and then I write the next one and then I broke the old one and that's where test driven development is like I love it. It makes me work. I, I, there's no way I could work faster than with test driven development in that scenario because I know that uh, without verifying every every implementation attempt that I make along the way, I might have broken the thing. It might not actually do the thing, and I will have to do uh, test this manually. And that's going to be. I mean, if you as you can imagine, that's going to be completely unsustainable for a complicated regex or a search algorithm or something like that. So what I want you to take away from this is that I think that on average it's almost impossible to tell how if TDD is faster than writing tests afterwards because I think it's one part the, the how error prone is the problem, uh, how likely are you to mess it up and on the other hand it's also about you as a person, how, how do you think because if you can't think in a TDD fashion then it's going to take longer even if you might produce lesser bu fewer bugs and so forth. And I'm not going to say this or that about it. You find your own way uh, because everybody does. Even the most die-hard TDD fanatics have to admit that they don't really have anything. Uh, they, they, the industry has already said its piece about th about this. It is not mandatory to work in a TDD fashion, even if we would like it to be. Pr practically everybody actually writes tests afterwards, even when they shouldn't. And the times where I think that you shouldn't write tests afterwards, even if you really do favor that over TDD is when you're dealing with a really complicated problem such as for myself. For me I know that I will actually move much faster if when I'm dealing with a problem where every change I make to my own implementation might break the thing that I already did and that is when TDD is it's the best thing ever. Have a great day.